Okay. As you can see, I got the deck on. And uh, it went pretty easy. But I did have a, a couple problems. And one of the problems was, is uh, the side is made up of three quarter inch strips. Uh, three quarter inch wide, quarter inch thick. And uh, I made the deck a little bit wider. These are just about one inch wide, maybe an inch and an eighth, and a quarter inch thick. And, uh, but, uh, and I made the deck curved, okay? And when the, the front rib, I had to, I think this rib here, I think it's three quarters of an inch. This one I went half. This one I went a quarter above the straight line. And by doing that, unbeknownst to me, as I'm putting my strips on, it looks like things are starting to converge. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? I mean, they should be parallel. And because I put the curve curve and the ribs to support my deck, it's kind of like a bucket. And I'd measure here across a, I don't know, I think I had maybe 10 of them And I measure across, and here I'm a half inch wider here than I am here, or a quarter inch wider. And so that kind of threw me in, uh oh, I forgot to figure for that. So all the, all the strips on the top kind of converged, and so I got down to the side here, on the sides, and I'll show you in a moment, and I had to fit a small piece in on each corner, okay, and then I'd run my long straight piece from, from end to end, pushed up tight against the gunnel, so, so anyway, it straightened out, and it didn't turn out bad, but I was a little disappointed that it hadn't figured for that, and to be honest, I'm not the brightest guy in the world, I probably couldn't have figured it out, really. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I would have liked to have it all parallel, but being that it isn't, well, it is what it is. And it really doesn't look too bad. I think it has pretty nice lines. So uh, I'll give you a few close-ups on this. I got a few more things. I put my strip here, and uh, this measures about one inch wide by about uh, three-quarter. And uh, as you know, I have a little flare here. It goes up, and I had to bend that. And the cedar bends fairly easy, but it's also wants to splinter and break pretty easy. So one of the things I did is that I knew I probably would have to steam it to get it to bend. And in fact, basically what I did is I took a sponge in this area here, that where I knew I was going to have to have my bend and twist. I went and took a sponge and I soaked that down with water. And then I took my handy dandy iron steam iron, put it on high, and I iron the board. And I spend a little bit of time doing it. And it helps if you wrap it in rags because it helps hold the heat. And then I put it up there and I uh, fasten it to the boat. Now what I fasten it with is I fasten it with uh, some uh, inch and a quarter staples. Or actually I think these are inch and a half staples. And uh, I'm going to glass over this, so everything seems to be holding well. I've got to putty all the places I staple it. I staple it every few inches along the side. Some people wouldn't like that, but, you know, the boat, the side, when I built the boat, has nothing but staple holes. But this has some staple holes across the top, so I figure I'll go along and putty it this afternoon, and then I'm going to sand everything down, and hopefully it will, uh, it will turn out rather nicely. So I'll um, show you what I've done, and uh, that will be it for this film, okay? So here we go. Just to give you an idea of the lines of the boat, if we can here. Well, it's not too good of an angle. I'm stuck here in this little garage, but you can see how the thing is flared. I'm going to get down here on the knee here. You see how it's flared? And it really turned out kind of nice. I think it's kind of nice. I'm pretty pleased with it. And you can see the deck there. It's got a nice little flare to it, so it should kick the water off nice. And this is what we have to make this way. Hmm. Now this is going to be sanded and rounded here. I'm going to sand and round that, and I'm going to put a bolt through here. And uh, then I'm going to cover it all with fiberglass. But 
but just about done. And once I glass it, throw the ore locks on there. Okay, and this end I already started to sand a little bit. You can see it, it come out pretty decent. It's not too bad. I got some a little bit of putty in to do. But on the whole, I must say, I'm rather pleased for not having no plans. And uh, not being the smartest guy in the world, I'm surprised uh, that uh, it turned out as nice as it did. So, that's it for this tape. See you after I fiberglass it.